Maybe the first frost at night, or dead Can leaves, I... or someone burning brush off somewhere. Can I have an apple? Sure thing. Say, let's see the paper, Freddy. Toss her up here. Listen to this, Mother. Another 25,000 prisoners. Fella said the war would be over this fall. Looks like he's right. Doesn't look like he could last that much longer. Hey! Then maybe Quince would be home for Christmas, huh? Quince? <laughs> well, maybe not that soon. Say, have you heard from that brother of yours lately? Not for a couple of weeks. Mother's kind of worried. You tell your mother not to worry about Quincy Martin. He can take care of himself. Yeah. Well, gotta get going. So long, Mr. Squire. So long, Freddy. News like this, and a morning like this, hard to keep your mind on the war. Makes you think of things like a new car. Plenty of gas in the tank, and tires with real treads on them. Maybe a bag of charcoal under the seat and a steak in oil paper. Oh. Roof! Roof, you old rascal. Make your mouth water, old boy. Well, it won't be long, Roof. Can't last much longer. War can't. She's almost done. Any way you look at it, it's almost over. Coffee roof, let's go get it. Good morning, Master. Good morning, Ed.
the information of the unseen audience in the turret gunner seat, 2139 makes 939. On that dollar chronometer, you count the years by. The hell it does. 2139 makes 739 in the morning, my time. Looks like morning, doesn't it? Well, it looks like morning in Connecticut. Nine something at night out here makes seven something a.m. in God's country. God's half of it. East half of it. Figure it out for yourself. I have. Often. Smell the morning coffee right this minute, clear from Cape Band of Buffalo. Hello, Red Leader. This is Scarlet Base. Report weather. Over. Scarlet Base. This is Red Leader. Top, 22, bottom, 6, cloud cover, 7, over. Red leader, Scarlet Bay, look around under mattress, over. Local, out. Oh. Yep, make 7.39 a.m. and October. What's in here? It's October here too, isn't it? Uh-uh. It's the same month they give you 12 times a year, only warmed over and warmer. Connecticut, it's hoarfrost on the grass and grouse in the pine lots. Ever see the Litchfield County Hills at half past seven in October? No, but if you ever expect to see them again, you'd better... Gee, look at them. Five, six, seven... Solid base. This is Red Leader. Tally hole. Skunks. Heavy cruiser. Three destroyers. Seven transports. Force. Two, seven, three. Request permission to attack. Over. There goes old blood and guts Lacey again. Red Leader. Scarlet base. Permission granted. Out. How do you feel, kid? Swell. Only here. Skipper never came up, did he? Didn't even try to get out. I don't know. 
called it October. Okay. But I don't tell time by clocks automatic. I know. Crazy. But it kind of brings it nearer. Sure it does. Makes you think of the clouds they used to use in that big link trainer. Before they busted us out as student pilots. When they still thought they could teach us navigation. Back at school. Remember that tame Pacific on the screen? And the clouds they used to squirt across it to fool you? How real they looked realer than these things. Only then, if you lost yourself in the fog, you could talk to the wave on the other end of the wire. Tell her to turn the lights on. She did. And there you were. Sort of silly, but back home. Remember that wave? Black curling hair on the nape of her neck. You could almost feel in your hands when you looked at it. It's a long way back to that law, if you think of it. Two years and how many missions? Forty? Fifty? Funny to think of the world going on somewhere else without you and not bothering. First time I ever felt like that was at Carl C. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Were we lost? Skipper calling the flat top and no answer. I guess we all knew why, but it didn't help much. And the light about gone, the gas about gone. Skipper cool as a cucumber. Hello, Red 3. This is Purple Base. Vector 220. Distance 38. Then they have that voice all of a sudden. Distance Stranger's voice calling us into a strange ship. That's when I learned about Navy Sailor. Right then when we hit that deck. But, geez, before they heard us. Take it away, please. What we need, Pete, is a wave at the other end of the phone. Turn that sky off. Boy, you and I are alone. I'm telling you. Never were two guys so much alone. What do you mean, alone? Haven't we got the squadron? Sure, but where are they? 300 miles south-southeast. They got home. And haven't we got the flat top back of the squadron? You're a good guy, Pete. I can't last, and you know it. Can't last much longer, and you know it. And back of the flat top, the fleet. Think they'll forget us? Back of the fleet. Sure. Sure, Quince. Back of the fleet, the whole damn country. Every man and woman in it. Every kid in those pine lots in Connecticut. Whatever time it is in the afternoon, whatever they're doing, wherever they're going. 
There isn't one that wouldn't be with us. They're all part of the same thing, Quince. The same thing we are. The same war. Hold hard, Quince. Hold tight. They're all part of us. They're around us. They're all around us. They're here. Weather like this, Mother? Couldn't get it out of my head all day. An open car, a tank full of gas, and a gun in the boot. Good evening, Mr. Squire. Evening, Freddy. Good night. Good night, Freddy. A man can't think about war and this kind of weather. The war almost finished at that. Can't last much longer, Mother. It can't last. You're right, Mr. Squires. The war can't last much longer. Part of it can't last much longer. Not the way it's going. Not if we keep it going the way it's going. But that doesn't mean, Mr. Squires, and you would be one of the first to say so if you thought about it. You and thousands of others like you. That doesn't mean that the war is any easier to fight. It's as tough to dive in the last flak to land on the last beach, to slug it out in the last as the first. If anything, it's tougher, Mr. Squires. The hardest blow to hit in a fight is the last one, because it is the last. It takes everything a people has to hit the last blow in a war and make it last. All the heart and all the will and all the purpose. Your heart. Your will. Your purpose. You can't forget the war because it's almost over, Mr. Squires. It's because it's almost over that you must think about it. Think about it as you've never thought before. And work for it harder. And give to it harder. It's as hard, Mr. Squires, to fight in the last battle of a war as in the first. It's as hard. Forgive me. To die at the end of the war as it's beginning. Maybe it's even harder. 